Selamat datang. Welcome, hello. Today we're diving into something from Indonesia. It's Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. We are exploring an artist from Indonesia. Her name is Sabian Gambus. Today's shout out goes to my patron, Salvador Saucedo. Thank you so much for being an awesome supporter, a dear patron um, for this suggestion. I'm so grateful for you and for all of you guys out there who are supporting me and who are so kind and yeah, just investing in me as I'm pouring back out into the rest of you all. I'm so happy to be here, you guys. I'm excited to check out this artist. This song is called Ya Asikol. Um, I hope I'm saying that right too. I have no idea who she is, no idea what she does, but just to put it in perspective, this song was put on YouTube 2018 and it has over 293 million views. So just put it into perspective for those of you who don't know of this singer. There are so many out there like this, and that's why I love exploring music from all around the world. Lyrics, taking it apart, diving into the music, the psychology, the philosophy. There is so much to be learned, but let's dive right in. Here we go. Ya Asilkol by Sabian. Sabian. That's a neat font. I like those kinds of things. guys real quick this is beautiful she has a beautiful voice there is a very gentle soft texture to her voice a very soft vibrato it's very subtle but it, it makes it for a beautiful texture in her voice and the way that she can sing um the you know like just the the way that she's able to hit the arabic quarter notes the way that she's able to transition it's very beautiful very very beautiful and i think what also is special is it's a very simple song. I feel like the keyboard composition and uh, there may be some wind wind instruments in the background. It's very simple. I don't feel like there's not a big focus on the actual song composition or track, right? Keyboard, some wind instruments, um, so maybe some flutes. Very simple, very straightforward because the focus here is really her voice and even more so the lyrics. And we'll talk about those in a second. But even um, if you're not... But even if you are an atheist or you are a, from a different religion, I'm not a Muslima. Just seeing her there wearing her burqa, um, a lot of modesty, a lot of purity. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful to watch. Amana, amana,
She is 23 years old, and uh, so I'm I'm not sure if her if her she just goes by Sabian Sabian or if she goes by Sabian Gambus. But on Instagram, this one account I found had like 2.2 million uh, followers. This particular song over 293 million views, and um, and uh, yeah, just a beautiful young lady with a beautiful voice. To me, the voice it was nothing that was mind blowing, right? In the sense of technicalities or abilities, it was very straightforward, a clean voice uh, to the point. Beautiful how she can um, sing in her uh, tongue, and um, the song I think was not so much to meant to be focused on vocal abilities or the composition for that matter. Again, very straightforward. And I could see this being a cool remix track if one were to add, if one were to try to add elements to make it more. Um, to make it more full or um, stand out more, or even perhaps add harmonies. I think that would be beautiful. But I think the focus here is very much so the lyrics. And in those, she's singing about the Prophet Muhammad and those who are hoping for him, that they can be ho happy and um, and gather hope, that the so Shofaz Hill was... Uh, um, Shofaz Hill was shining, and I'm not sure what it means when uh, she sings, uh, the group who got lower nasab is happy. So if you are a Muslim, or um, if you know about this song, or you understand the language, please let me know in the comments below. But I think uh, this same idea, the chorus and that hook, repeats over and over again. And it's straightforward when it, in, from a melodic standpoint, which is not bad, because it's easy to learn, and it'll get stuck in your head. La, 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 la. You know, like just... Um, that part repeating itself, and then again, her tagging that chorus on in the end. Um, the beautiful light has come from um, facing the guidance of the sunlight, and then in the parentheses it says prophet, so referring to the sunlight, I guess, when talking about the prophet, his superiority env envelops us, and then referring to him as Lord. So very much a spiritual song focused on the message, uh, an idea of worship and adoration, um, and uh, I think you can also see that in her demeanor and in the way that she is just... Um, yeah, the way that she has um, dressed herself, it's not flashy. There's no desire to focus on that. Her way that the way that her mimics and her gestures are in her face, uh, really, and I, the focus here is this song of, of comfort and hope for the listener. This expression of her own hope and joy and reassurance in her faith. And from a psychological standpoint, I think that even makes sense, right? When you are focused on something you adore and admire or believe in, it can give you a sense of. Um, tranquility, it can give you a sense of um, um, reassurance, especially in the face of our mortality and death anxieties. Um, there's this idea of something pure, I feel, and I think that can sometimes be appealing to certain people. Um, you know, this idea of something pure, something modest, where there's no a lot, not a lot of distraction by beats and flashes and or any hypersexuality whatsoever. 
um, there's something beautiful about purity and about simplicity. Um, and and again, you know, of course, there's music. And of course, there's musical work out there that far exceeds from a compositional standpoint or from a vocal performance standpoint. But I think sometimes we lose the beauty when we're looking just for the flashy diamonds and the biggest rock and the brightest gold. Sometimes I think we, same with nature, same with human um, experience. Speaking of psychology, right? Sometimes the most beautiful experiences can occur when someone is present in the moment um, and they're able to really experience and make a memory. And it could be something very small, a, a gift, a hug, for, a, a hug from a loved one, a flower that you come across, um, a cloud in the sky. Sometimes it doesn't have to be the big things that leave the most lasting memories. From a psychological standpoint, I feel sometimes, and this could even apply to music, it may be an individual note, it may be a gesture of someone, a facial expression, a moment of adoration where it sticks with us or it impacts us emotionally because we were present and because it spoke to something inside of us, depending on who we're coming from and who we are and so on and so forth. But beautiful and um, sweet to listen to. So thank you for that suggestion. What did you guys think? And what other artists from Indonesia would you recommend that I listen to? Thank you for stopping by, you guys. As always, like, share, subscribe, get yourself some merchandise, support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee and skip the line with your song requests. But I hope you had a good time today. I want you to know that you are loved and you matter. Keep shining. Keep finding beauty in the everyday moments. I'll talk to you guys soon. This was Rosalie. Till next time. Ayo! Hey